Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA and we are talking about rainwater harvesting today. We're in Los Angeles and did you know that Los Angeles now requires you to do something for the environment like a low impact development, best management practice, what we call BMPs, uh, LID, uh, if you're going to add 500 square feet or more to your residence. So I'm going to show you something really simple that you can do to, to help go uh, have a credit toward those requirements for your place. Number one is you can do something real simple. You have to do this in addition to something else, but this is a 50 gallon rain barrel. Now in the old days, they actually used to have like old whiskey barrels. What do you do with them? You put them under your roof. And so you can see here, this actually is going from the roof where there's solar power. So when it rains, it cleans the solar power off. It goes all this down this drain. It goes into here and it actually goes into this. Uh, this is kind of a pretty, uh, I don't like to call it a rain barrel because it's more than that. It's called, if you want this, more information on this one, it's called therain.goddess.com. And this right here is rainwater. So we use that and we've got a little face plate here. Now, if you want to graduate in something really big, I will introduce you to a uh, 5,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system, but it's underground. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing. Uh, so it's an underground system. I made a YouTube video about it uh, a few years ago, but it really serves us well. It fills up after a few big rains and then we save it for summertime. So there's several months out of the year. I don't have to use any city water, any water that's piped from another state because I catch rainwater and I use it here on site. So this is a big rainwater harvesting system, but a lot of people are asking, well, I want something that's more than just 50 gallons, but I don't really necessarily want to start out with a 5,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system, especially it's because of all the soil you have to do down. It's like the, the swimming pool. Is there something in between? Yes, there is. And what we're doing today is we're doing a little bit of um, revamping of the, of the Enviroscape headquarters here. Uh, this is called, this is a Bushman product, uh, and so it's a rainwater harvesting system that's above ground. Here's the pump. Little pump. Uh, it's especially made for rainwater harvesting systems. Um, uh, automatic pump, and then this is the rainwater catchment system. So it's about 200 between 250 and 300 gallons, and we just went ahead and put the. Uh, uh, rain diversion in here and it has an overflow that's right over here and so we haven't finished it yet because we're actually doing the install we're gonna make a little um, a stand for it but this whenever there's a lot of rain once this fills up this will fill up first and this will fill up fast because it's attached to the roof then it's gonna go into here and it'll go out to the 5,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system so rain water harvesting it's what the ancient Babylonians did, the Phoenicians, the Assyrians, uh, the Romans were experts at it. And here in the United States, especially Los Angeles, we're just catching up with the ancients. And it's great to see this progress. Uh, it's what we should be doing. We should be getting back into permaculture. There's a lot of reasons why we need to get back to basics like our ancestors did, because it's good for the planet, it's good for the environment, it's good for humanity in the future. This is Mike with Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.